Alright, so it's day 6 of climbing Mount Everest. I am logging this after a voiceover because I was trying to upload yesterday's log. So I recorded this on my camera and the audio is just so windy. But anyways, we had some really nice weather. We began our acclimatization hike. Uh, we're going to make around 2,500 feet of gain today. Not really a camp we're working towards. We're just kind of moving up out of this village, Farish A, which is where we're staying. Seeing some really amazing views. And uh, this is where we're heading. This giant rock up on top of this hill. Um, we're heading, so we're heading above 14,000 feet, which is usually when you start to feel any altitude symptoms. That's usually kind of the, the standard, which you'll hear a lot of people say, but we were getting really good weather and making some good pacing, getting that gainage very solid. And we got to a really good vantage point here. Um, that's another village over there, but ours is kind of over that ridge. So another view of where we're heading, you can see a ton of people moving up also working on their acclimatization. Um, that mountain right there is Dobushe, I, I believe. I, I said it right in the recording, but it's actually a holy mountain. You can't climb that big one. I'm sure there's some people that have. Then off in the distance is Lobushe, which is what we will also be climbing as part of our acclimatization program, which basically means we need to get up high so we can go up higher because your body needs to adjust. Um, so it looks a little bit dry up there. Uh, there's not really much snow. Hopefully there is some because I kind of like glacial cramponing. But uh, right behind me is Ama de Blom. Um, and off in the distance there, kind of to the right, you can see. I don't... Um, there's a few... Oh, Ama de Blom, yeah. There's a few... Uh, in that direction, is just Everest, Snoopsy, and Lotsi. You should be able to see Lotsi. That was that close one. Kind of continue going up. Um honestly was pretty difficult like you could see our pace we were making some huge elevation gain in such a short amount of time look at this but anyways here we go we made it to the top yeah, yeah. <laughs> getting sketchy we got a sketchy drop here whoa you'd see the village we came up from all the way down there yeah, I mean, we absolutely hauled up that hill, but it gave us a really nice view and uh, pretty much all of our surroundings. So honestly, solid day, but it, you know, I was feeling it a little bit. I'm not going to lie, guys. It was a little bit rough. All right. So we made it back down. It's a little bit windy right now, but we went all the way up there on top of that one hill. It's like all the way up there. Came back down. Now we're back at the lodge area. Going to rest up here before we go higher up tomorrow. But uh, that's the good news. But the bad news is, so... You all know I, I keep my Himalayan pink sea salt, a pinch of it every single break, with my water. It just decided to explode inside my backpack, like the whole bag. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm like, I just gotta like get it all out, or I can hear it. Such a waste of salt. Ugh, come on now. So here I am. I notice it like explodes while I'm. Oh my gosh. This is like good. It's just. Oh no. So all my gear is covered in salt, so that's like fantastic. Like I never thought that this would happen to me. So now I've double bagged it. So there I am in the city of Digbuche. Digbachi? No, no. Digbuche. I don't know. Something Ding. And I'm and I'm scrounging through my bag. I'm trying to like recover as much of this as I can. This will be enough for the rest of the trip. But now it's like got like dirt specks in it. So it kind of like picked up dirt sitting at the bottom of my bag because that's where I was trying to get it out of. So now my salt's all dirty, so. It's a game though, it's just extra minerals, right? It's just like dirt and dust and stuff. So I think we're gonna be fine. We'll still get our electrolytes, so. Yeah. Other than that, honestly, hard, kind of a hard day. Uh, we made like two and a half thousand feet of elevation gain in like less than two hours. That's. That's some, that's some business right there. So, luckily we're acclimated now. Body is ready to go higher up on the mountain. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go like figure out this salt situation. And um, look at how cool this is, it's water. I'm just gonna figure this out, I don't know. I gotta, like my whole sleeping bag has salt on it because I opened it up. And so does my jackets. It's not really a bad thing, honestly, I don't even care. Sometimes it is what it is. Things explode up here, so yeah. But anyways, y'all, probably gonna clock out for the day. 
Um, feeling a little bit of altitude. Definitely some like headache. Not really a headache, but like you can like feel it. You know, you can feel your body got worked. And it's like a little bit different than normal. Um, but I mean, you're pushing above 14,000 feet, so kind of makes sense. And also like, like I'm not going to lie, like we're, we're getting fed pretty well, at least down lower, like in these lodges. Like tomorrow, yesterday I had like at the bakery, which is at down the street, I had a carrot cake and then an apple pie slice. And then at dinner, I had like one and a half more apple pie slices. Like that's just not good. Like you don't want to do that when you're, when you're trekking into altitude. So definitely going to reconsider my choices and not do that again. Um, like it's so like rickety in here. But anyways, uh, I'm going to do some Wim Hof breathing usually gets rid of the headache. I, I don't take Diamox. Usually if I ever feel altitude symptoms, I'll just do some Wim Hof breathing. Fixes it literally right away. I mean, I don't, I don't I'd, like, I don't advise to do that every time. Like definitely take medication if you need it. But for me, that's just personally worked, Aconcagua um, and all that. So that's probably what I'm going to go do. Shorter episode today, but uh, kind of had to work with the Wi-Fi situation tomorrow, I believe is a big move. We'll get some good footage there. It'll be a good day, so I'm going to go fix myself. <laughs>